Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about what is a preservative and why we need those preservatives in our um, cosmetics. So if you're a new upcoming formulator and or want to have some knowledge on formulation um, of working with preservatives or why we use preservatives, this video is for you. The biggest question is, what is a preservative? A preservative is an additive that protects the product from growing any yeast, mold, and bacteria. These preservatives are added to products that contain water um, and or products that will be coming into contact with um, water. When you are shopping for preservatives, make sure you look for preservatives that protects your product against bacteria, mold and yeast. Some preservatives that are on the market protects against bacteria but does not protect your product against uh, mold and yeast. If you have an anhydrous product such as oil base, butter base, things that doesn't contain water, you can either put a preservative in, which I highly recommend, and or if you do not want to put a preservative in your product, in your formulation, make sure you communicate and educate your consumers on why is it important to take part of that product and into like a different container and use that product up when they are using that product. The reason why I say that is because say if they take part of the uh, product into another container and they leave part of it in that container, that container is now in, in due time, it is now open to bacteria, mold, and yeast, which is very, very not good for our skin and or our hair, basically the human body. So I just want to give an example because I don't know, sometimes a lot of people ask questions and I'm just like, did I not explain this very well? So I'm just going to take an example. Say this is a body butter. This is definitely a candle, but I'm just saying. Say it's a body butter. Um, actually a body scrub because body butter like body butter gets wet <laughs> no but say this is a body scrub and this does not have a preservative in this product at all no preservative just 100% um, it has vitamin E oil cocoa butter um, oils but no preservative so what I'm gonna do because I want to use this I'm going to scoop out the, the the part of the product that I would like to use in in the shower I'm gonna put it in say this the container which is definitely the top so say this is a container and they could also use the top if the top can hold that much product but make sure when you educate them that they clean this very well and make sure it's dry before adding it on to the body scrub because guess what water gets on there it guess what room for bacteria yeast and mold to grow and we don't have time for that so say we have that product i'm going to put um the product that i'm going to take in the shower and use the scrub with i'm going to use that scrub my body down and then now i'm going to wash this out dry it very well um i'm actually going to let it sit to make sure it's dry very well after that i am going to put the top on the body scrub when do you use a preservative? A preservative is mostly used in a aqueous phase or anything that has an aqueous phase, I should say. Um, and we also do make exceptions for that reason being stating that if we have a body butter, a body scrub, we will want a preservative in there because guess what? Our consumers put their wet hands into this product, which gives room for your product to contain bacteria, mold, and yeast. And we do not want to, that on our consumers. We also care about our consumers and we also wanna make sure they're safe when using our products. Are there natural preservatives? The answer is yes. And typically, these preservatives are plant-derived but contain benzyl alcohol, salicylic acid, sorbic acid, and glycerin. What? Glycerin? Yes, glycerin. You could use glycerin um, with a preservative up to 55%, but when you use glycerin at that high of a percentage, it 
is very sticky so it may it will make your uh, product sticky nobody wants a sticky product so that is why it's added to preservatives at a percentage that is doable and not so sticky so you guys are gonna see this this word a lot when you're for, um, ordering your ingredients is called broad spectrum so what is broad spectrum broad spectrum covers broad spectrum of microorbs I hope I'm saying that right I'm definitely gonna put it on the screen because I feel like I'm not gonna say a lot of these words right they're so big um, <laughs> it covers um, microorbs such as bacteria yeast and mold these broad spectrum preservatives offers the best protection for your products against mold bacteria and yeast these broad spectrum preservatives offers the best and most protection against microbial microbial contamination um, for long periods of time the typical shelf life can vary from 9 to 24 months depending on the ingredients that you're using to formulate the formula and how the product is stored so when ordering um, your natural preservatives you're definitely going to see something called cosmos what does cosmos mean like what is that I've never heard of that cosmos is a minimum common requirement for natural and organic certification another word that you're definitely going to see a lot is ecocert ecocert is a large organic certification um, organization that was founded in France in 1991. It's based in Europe but it conducts um, inspections in over 80 countries which makes it one of the largest um, organic certification organization um, in the world. Their principle is to ensure an environmentally friendly cosmetic products. EcoCert standards are, I want to make sure I tell you guys the right information so I'm definitely going to read from my script that I wrote. I always write scripts um, when I'm doing formal inf in videos which is all of my videos now because that's the only thing I really do and that's because I want to make sure I give you guys the right information and I have some type of structure. But EcoCert standards uh, advocate the use of ingredients derived from renewable sources and manufactured by environmentally friendly processes. So there's no okay for GMO, um, there's no okay for parabens, uh, phenoxidano, I'll put it on the screen, um, nanoparticles, PEG, um, silicone, synthetic dyes, and, um, and perfumes, animal derived ingredients, but they do make an exception for milk and honey and etc. They also advocate for products to be biodegradable and or recyclable. They have two standards which are EcoCert Natural and EcoCert Organic. Both of the standards basically state that um, all the ingredients that's in the formula, um, the ingredients have to be 95% of natural origin. So I'm definitely now going to read off of my screen uh, because it's so many preservatives that I would love to share. Lewisidal Liquid Radish Root Ferment is my favorite one of my favorite preservatives and basically it is a preservative that derives from ferment radish um, that protects your product against bacteria yeast and mold I definitely remember that because I use it all the time uh, make sure you check the description box for any links Optifin Plus I have not used it um, but um, it's a an innovative blend of phenoxethanol um, and sorbic acid um, and an emollient base of capril glycol. Um, it also protects against mold, yeast, and bacteria growing into formulations. Now for this, because it has phenoxethanol, this is not um, EcoCert. Um, certified um, and then also yeah so it's just not equal cert certified but it is a broad spectrum um, preservative 
And you may see a lot of phenoxythanol into a lot of our mainstream products, even the ones that claim that they're natural, which um, their their products are probably 95% nat their product ingredients is possibly 95% natural and the other percent is not so natural um preservatives is really hard to really get natural natural stuff and the reason why i say that like to for it to come from a from a plant is because it's really hard right now but they're still making um preservatives that derive from plants but it's really hard to do because they want to make sure uh the product is basically protected from yeast mold and um, bacteria this area in the business world or manufacturing world is growing rapidly so it would definitely possibly change after i make this video and post it anti-micro banana um, i just searched this up um, on makingcosmetics.com which i freaking love this website um, it is a preservative that is 100 percent plant derived parts of banana tree that normally goes to waste which i mean if we can save stuff that goes to waste that is immaculate i love it it is a broad spectrum preservative so you don't have to worry about any yeast mold and bacteria and then phenoxyethanol okay uh which is ground in plants such as chicory um, and also found in green tea. This preservative has a effective broad spectrum pre preservation against gram positive and gram negative um, bacteria, yeast, and mold. Um, this preservative is tolerated in the natural community, but it is not eco -cert certified. So glycerin benzonic acid this is a broad spectrum preservative that protects your products against bacteria yeast and mold and you will see it a lot in um, a lot of products because this is one of um, basically a popular preservative preservative eco slash geoguard um, ect if you've watched my IGL video, you know I freaking love this um this preservative. It's amazing. It's water soluble, it's oil soluble. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. This ingredient is EcoCert and Cosmos certified, or should I say compliant? This preservative is also a broad spectrum natural per preservative which has no parabens um no phenoxethanol i don't know how to pronounce that no isothazolins and no formaldehyde also make sure when you're buying preservative eco slash geoguard ect make sure it is water soluble the reason why i say that is because i was ordering um preservative eco I'm going to say it just like that is GeoGuard e ECT. It's like a slash. You can find it under both names. Um, but I was buying it and I found an Etsy shop. Did I read the in um, the ingredients and like what is it soluble, the percentage levels and blah, blah, blah? Yes, I did. But I forgot. And when I was making my extract, I had made um, a water no a rosemary and what else peppermint um extract i tried to um use that preservative because it was not water soluble and it was only oil soluble and i forgot Ooh, i forgot and i was really upset i messed up the formulation because in that case i if i would have known i could have used a what is it I'm trying to think what is it I could have used a ooh, ooh, I hate this and this is on camera oh my gosh hold on solubilizer I could have used a solubilizer to basically um, help the insoluble um, preservative go throughout the water because basically it was in a water extract but I forgot so don't be like me make sure you remember and also um it's good to like write it down on paper that's one thing i won't do is buy any preservative that isn't um no any preservative eco that isn't 
um, water and oil soluble. So the preservative is water and oil soluble, but you just have to make sure you read carefully on the website um, that you are buying from. Lewis Seidel SF Complete is another broad spectrum um, and eco -cert organic certificate certified um, ingredient so this ingredient is probiotic based created by fermentation of lactobacillus yeah no um, which is capable of restricting growth of other micro microorganisms um, that is a really really good um, preservative um, geoguard extra GeoGuard Ultra TM um, is a preservative that protects against yeast, mold, and bacteria. Um, it is also Cosmos and EcoCert certified or compliant. It is also Nature and the Social Association. This ingredient is hard to find, but I did find a link to where you can get it, but it's like you can't get a lot of, of the preservative. I mean, you, pro you could probably stack it on, but you can't just get like a, a big batch from this link. Um, but yeah, if you guys find any, just please make sure you share down below if you can, because I know a lot of people like that preservative and that preservative is popular. Um, last but not least of a preservative is Ixol K903 which is which it has a complete efficiency of a preservative system and with a broad balanced spectrum of efficiency against um, gram positive and negative bacteria yeast and mold it's GMO free so you don't have to worry about any GMOs because I'm if you're like me I don't like GMOs Okay. And it also has a criteria of Nature, Cosmos, and EcoCert certified. Um, I will link all of the preservatives that I named in this video in my description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was formal um, and helpful. Have a great day everyone. Bye!